Hey guys, it's Jodi and welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing my What I Got For Christmas 2019 edition. So I don't normally do that many gift exchanges with my family, but I did get a bit of here and there. And most of the other ones I did pick up myself with my own money during like a Boxing Day sale or something like that. So I'll be sharing all of those with you. So let's jump straight into the video. So first things first, I'm just gonna go through the items that I actually got as presents. And the first one is I got a puppy, guys. I don't know if you've seen my my video but I'll put a link up in this corner here we got a multi Shih Tzu she's going to be a girl and we're picking her up when she's eight weeks old which is uh, next week actually so I'll insert maybe like a picture over here for you of what she looks like or like a video but yeah I couldn't show you today because she's not quite ready to come home with us but we've got all her um, bedding her food toys all of that ready for her already and we're just so super excited to have her come home with us next week. The second thing I got is an iPhone 11. Also, I will link my video up above. I'm so grateful because my plan was running out and I needed a new phone. Check out my unboxing video for all the details and the traumatic experience, shall I say, that I went through to unbox the iPhone. The third thing, I got a the Great Aussie Coin Hunt. So I don't know about you, I've got a little quirk where I like to collect um, little coins and stamps. And my auntie knew that and she was kind enough to give me the whole entire collection. We've got 26 and they're just letters of the alphabet here. So I'm so happy because now I have all 26. It gives me so much happiness. So if you want to have a look, so from A to Z, the Great Aussie Coin Hunt. And that's just what the back looks like. Next, I got something from my boss at work. Got a nice card. And she got us a little jar of candy. It's a little Santa Claus. One of my other colleagues, she got me a little sloth plant for my desk at work. This makes my desk feel a bit more lively and I just smile a little bit every time I see it because this is just so cute. And she said she thought of me when she saw this lot, so. I'm not sure what that means. I thought this is fake as well because I don't think I can look after a real plant. And the last present I got from my family is this ocean salt face and body scrub from Lush. Oh my gosh, it smells like lemon and it just reminds me of tequila. But that's what it looks like. Now let's move on to what I got on Boxing Day. So one of our first stores we visited was JB Hi-Fi and we were hoping there were sales but there was none. We got the GoPro Max. This one was pretty cool because it allows us to do 360 degree video. So when we video or take a photo, you can actually spin that video around and see the entire 360 degree. And that is because there's a camera at the front and there is a, another one at the back. So when you take a video of yourself, it actually takes it from both this side and that side and it kind of like does a 3D image. So that was pretty cool. We're going to Japan soon in February, so we're gonna bring this and vlog our trip. So stay tuned. Along with the GoPro, we got two SD card. One is already inside the GoPro and we also got a spare pack of battery. Next, I needed a new facial cleanser. This is the Mango Seed Face Wash from the Face Shop. So while I was at the face shop, I picked up a Chia Seed Hydrating Lotion Hydrant. The lady said that if I don't have dry skin, I have normal skin. This is sufficient and it is hydrating and it smelled really good. And I just needed a moisturizer suggestion to be honest. Other thing I was so happy was on sale because I really, really needed this is the Jerlic Softening Body Lotion in Rose Scent. So I actually got one of these for my birthday and I used it all completely and it leaves your skin so silky smooth and I've been dying to get another one but it was just a bit too expensive so I was waiting for Boxing Day and I'm so glad that it was 20% off. Next, uh, we got a bit of makeup items. So I got this from Benefit and guys, look at this. It was originally $60 and it went down to $36 and I was like, 
<laughs> what a good deal. Inside this tin, it has full-size cooler bronzer, which I live and swear by. I use it all the time and I've hit pan completely emptied my current one, so it was good timing. And I've never tried this roller lash mascara. To be honest, I never really use mascara because either I wear glasses and I can't even wear mascara at all because my eyelashes kind of like split and hit the lens or else I'm wearing falsies, but I thought I'll give it a go. So right now I am using it for the first time. I'll show you my eyelashes. I normally don't have that much eyelash, but this mascara actually makes my eyelashes look like they exist. This is the Benefit Roller Lash, the full size, and also a uh, gimme brow here. I don't do anything to my eyebrows, so I definitely wouldn't be using that. Maybe I'll give it away to somebody. Continuing on the topic of makeup, I just stocked up on my NC30 Studio Fix Powder from MAC because they were 20% off, and I just stock up like this is all I use on my face, and I use it almost every day. It took us about 30 minutes to line up um, to get into the store because there were so many people. I knew exactly what I wanted, so I went straight to it and I just went straight to the checkout, so that was efficient. I don't know if this is too much to show, but I got uh, three pairs of undies. You know, the seamless one. Don't know if you guys care, but you know, got those because you never have enough. Following on from makeup and skincare, I stocked up on my Elizabeth Arden night cream. I literally swear by this. This is my favorite night cream. It is very heavy, it's very thick, but it is so good because it keeps my skin so rich and moisturized throughout the night. Even though when I wake up it is oily, I just use a face wash and wash it off. But then it leaves my skin feeling very, very smooth and very soft. I've used more than 10 uh, jars of this. So I'm just stocking this up as well. Glad it was on sale. Picked up uh, more Batiste Shampoo. If you have seen my empties video, which I will link up above again, I live and swear by Batiste Dry Shampoo. Love, love, love. Next, I picked up another fudge. So this is a purple shampoo. To be honest, I should be using it a little bit more, like my hairdresser says, but um, sometimes it gets my hands all purple, so I don't really enjoy using it, but I know I need it to get rid of all the brassy trim that's in my hair. Moving on to clothes, I only picked up two items of clothing, which is what I'm wearing now. This is from Zara. This is like a little blush pink top. I love the material and it's just like a really pretty color. And it's got a cute little bow at the back, so I thought that was kind of cool. It took us a total of like an hour and a half just to line up in the change room to try this on and to pay for it. So it was a bit of a hassle for two items of clothing. And I also picked up this little knit, which I thought was very Balmain vibes. The buttons and the shoulders were puffy so they were pretty cool and i tried it on and it was a good fit and i like this material so yeah i can't remember how much i paid i think i paid 50 dollars for this and maybe like 30 dollars for this i'm pretty proud of myself for only buying two pieces of clothing this year i went a little bit crazy on the shoes because i knew i needed a few pairs of new shoes firstly was a pair of casual shoes that were flat because i did not own any flat shoes i have a lot of runners and sneakers, I did not have any casual summer shoes. First pair I picked up was from Piper, and these are just the most comfortable, softest leather. Like this is like so soft, like a baby's bottom soft. And it just kind of buckles up together like that to be this shoe. So these were like $60, and I love these are the best shoe ever and I never realized how comfortable I could be in flat summer shoes instead of just sneakers because I always just thought sneakers the best but now I've tried these I'm in love. Next pair I kind of is a impulse buy I saw it on the model that was at David Jones on the wall and she was wearing these so I thought they looked really cute. These ones are from Sandler for about like $70. And partly I picked them up because my original pair of wedges in the same material kind of broke when I went out because this front bit just kind of came undone and I really couldn't glue it back. So I just threw them out and when I saw these, I was like, oh, well, these will be the perfect replacement for those ones that I broke. And I picked up two pairs of boots. I picked up a black one because my current boots are a bit small for me and they're not the most comfortable. So I endeavored to find a very comfortable pair. These are the ones I picked up and they're from Gino Ventori. Last pair of boots I purchased was from Hush Puppies here. These were $99 and I do not own any other color boot except black. 
so I thought I really needed a pair of a beigey boots and when I first saw it at David Dreams I loved it and it didn't have my size so I was super super bummed and today when I went to Chats and David Jones they had my size so I was like yes I have to get them but they are these beige boots um, with a round top kind of gradient here very soft leather again and it just has a zipper on the other side and a good size heel so I'm excited to have a pair of taupe boots because I only own black ones so far all right guys we're almost at the end i got to myself something also from chippy and crew as you know i used to work there and i just kind of miss all my friends all my colleagues there and um when i went back recently to visit them um i found out that they had this new fragrance sorry the bow kind of came undone it's called uh chiffany and co love and this one is for her so i believe they have one that's for her and one that's for him so like a male scent now when i worked there i knew they only had one single fragrance and that's just called the tiffany fragrance i think don't quote me it's been a while um, but now it's got the tiffany and co love for her and this is a rounded bottle so maybe i'll open it for you guys so this actually is my first Tiffany fragrance. I don't own the other one. It's good to have the little blue box and the blue bag again. It's unusual to have um, this one here. They've revamped their little brand a bit and it's got Tiffany and Love here. It just has the and signed at the front and obviously the gorgeous Tiffany blue bottle. I just remember smelling this um, in one of the counters. And I really loved it. Oh, so it's really cute. Even at the top, it says Tiffany and Love. Oh, I can't smell it now. Oh. It's so refreshing. I don't know how to describe it. I mean, it's not the, like a very unique, unique scent. I feel like you can kind of get a very similar scent somewhere. But I just can't pinpoint where. And it just smells really great. So I got the large bottle in a 90 mils, and this one retails for $200. And last but not the very least, I got my very first red bag. So I got something from Cartier. I know this is a very big treat to myself. I don't think I can ever just fork out um, so much money to buy something from Cartier every day, and this is gonna be my very first one. I got myself something because I finished my master's degree. And it's been five years of uni education. I did my bachelor's degree, my undergrad for three years and two years for master. And I wanted to reward myself with something. So I pulled the trigger and I went to Cartier. There's nothing in the box because i am actually be wearing it the whole time. And I've also got an unboxing video linked up here for you to watch if you like as well. It is this ring here. So I've got the one with one diamond. And all around is just the classic love and has one single diamond I got this one from the boutique and it comes with a whole bunch of stuff you can watch my um, unboxing if you like and this one retail for $3,250 in Australia so I know that's a lot of money for me to spend but I just thought because I graduated from my masters I just really wanted to reward myself with that so I think that is all for what I got for Christmas I am so super excited for my puppy so please subscribe down below for Mochi there's going to be quite a few vlogs of her cute little munchkin face up very soon I'm going to vlog us picking her up from her breeder and I just can't wait to share her with you guys because she's just so small and so cute. I really hope she's obedient. So if you have any dog tips, please leave them down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and subscribe down below to join my little YouTube family and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Peace.